All right, this one asks us to simplify. So we have the square root of a fraction now. And since this one gave us the square root, the radical, which is that what that symbol is called, a radical, um, we just want the principal square root on this one. In other words, we, we don't need the negative square root. So um, we need the square root. I'm sorry, let, let me take that back. We need two things. We need to multiply the two of the same things so that we could, we're going to get 25 over 49, right? So you see how that's fraction multiplication? So I have my numerator, which I'm going to use x's for. And when I multiply my x's together, I need 25. So what times itself is 25? 5. And then we've got, I'll use y's for my denominators. What times itself is 49? 7. So this would be 5 sevenths. So this is great because it kind of illustrates what is really happening here. Uh, if we have the square root of a fraction, it allows us to take the square root of the numerator and divide it by the square root of the denominator, which is really what we did, right? So the square root of 25 is 5, square root of 49 is 7. Again, this is kind of the basis of how it works.